Even though a straight handstand is not necessary to find balance, it can be beneficial to create a straight line because it's going to make your handstand position more efficient and it's also going to prepare you for harder elements such as the press the handstand and the one arm handstand. Your ability to create the straight line in a handstand is dependent on four different components. It's your flexibility, your strength, your balance and your coordination. So first of all, by improving your ability to balance, you are going to increase your capacity in the handstand and therefore you are going to be able to make more adjustments to your technique and your alignment. Second, the most of your alignment is going to come from your ability to elevate the scapula and push tall. So this is going to require strength in the upper traps and the stronger you are, the more you can push and therefore the straighter you can get. Third, your ability to flex or open the shoulders is heavily going to determine your ability to create the straight line. If you can't open the shoulders, you are going to have to arch your back in order to find a balance. So improving your shoulder flexibility is going to be one of the most important things when it comes to learning to create a straight line. And fourth and last, you need to have the bodily awareness and the coordination to put your body in the right position to get straight. So you need to be able to coordinate the movement of the shoulders, the hips and the legs in order to create a position that is straight from the hands to the feet. In the Handstand Academy, I teach you to focus on building your strength, flexibility and balance first before you start to focus too much on the alignment because the more strength, balance and flexibility you have, the more capacity and the more resources you have to actually create the position that you want. But if you are working on specific alignment work, then I want you to use the best exercises, what I call bang for your buck. So you want to be able to get as many of these components in one single exercise as possible because that's a way that we can reduce the amount of work that we need to spend on our alignment. So instead of having three or four different drills, maybe we can get it all into one. This is where we introduce the front elevated body line. In this drill, we are actively working against gravity in a prone position on the floor essentially teaching ourselves how to find the straight line, but in a more advantageous position. The front elevated body line is going to improve your active shoulder flexion by generating high amounts of force in your end range. It's also going to improve your passive range of motion through the contract relax technique of actively moving in and out of the position. You will also learn how to control your body and how to place it in the right position to create the straight line, which we can then use and transfer over to the chest to wall handstand and then to our freestanding handstand. To perform this drill, you will need two yoga blocks and a wooden stick. To set up, you want to lie on your stomach with the upper arms on the yoga blocks. You want to grab the stick with an externally rotated position, which means that the palms are facing upwards. You're then going to engage the entire body by pointing the toes, pressing the feet together, squeezing your thighs, your glutes, lifting the stomach a little bit off the floor, and then actively pushing the hands forward to elevate the scapula. And then by actively pushing the arms into the yoga blocks, you want to try and lift your sternum as high off the floor as you can, thinking about pulling the sternum in towards your spine. At the same time, you want to open the hips by actively squeezing the glutes and pushing the hips into the floor. So for the correct technique with this exercise, you need to have straight arms, you need to elevate the scapula, you need to lift the chest off the floor and you need to keep the hips and the feet in contact with the floor at all times. I like to program this exercise in as a warm-up drill before we do any handstand specific work. 
I tend to lean towards two to three sets and I like to combine it with a chest to wall hold because that is going to allow us to find a line on the floor which is going to be easier and we can then move that to the wall and see if we can replicate the same technique and actually improve the line in our handstand. In terms of programming, I have two different protocols that I like to use, straight sets or cluster sets. For straight sets, you would simply do two to three sets of 10 to 30 second holds, rest 60 to 90 seconds and then repeat. For cluster sets, you're going to do the same amount of sets but instead you're going to do reps and you want to do between three and five repetitions and on each rep you're going to hold the position for five to ten seconds and in between each rep you're going to rest 15 to 20 seconds and this is going to allow you to accumulate a higher amount of volume but you're still gonna be able to maintain the same level of quality because you're doing shorter reps and you're doing shorter holds which means that you can put more effort and focus into them. I tend to start with clusters at the beginning of a program. This allows you to accumulate more high quality volume. Then you can start a program in straight sets to challenge yourself by doing longer holds but still trying to maintain that same level of quality. So to summarize, the front elevated body line is a great drill to improve your strength, flexibility and coordination at the same time. You create the straight line in the position by actively flexing the shoulders while opening the hips. You want to program this drill into your warm-up and do not do more than 3 or 4 sets or you're going to start to accumulate unnecessary amounts of fatigue. Start with cluster sets and then progressively build up to straight sets. For this drill, quality always beats quantity, so focus on quality holds learning the right technique and then take it from there. If you want a complete system that teaches you how to balance the handstand, how to kick up and improve your alignment, I teach you all of my programs, techniques and methods in my Handstand Academy. It's an online program that includes a private community, you get individual coaching, program templates, educational videos and much much more. It's pretty much the only program that you'll ever need to learn the handstand as an adult. And in fact, I have a guarantee that guarantees that you will learn the handstand because it's my passion to help adults learn how to balance. So if I can't help you, then I will give you your money back. So if you're interested in learning more about the program, then check out the link in the description. And I also have some free resources, including some programs and a masterclass if you want to learn more, but you don't want to go all the way yet. Thanks as always for watching the video and I will see you next week.